Hi, and welcome to this demo where I will show how the HCL Software DevOps Portfolio provides an integrated solution satisfying any organization's DevOps needs. We begin the demo by gaining an understanding of the problem. Visitors to the Emerald e-commerce application are expressing confusion in how to register and complete a purchase just weeks ahead of the Memorial Day sales event. And based on the volume of visitor complaints, the business leaders are getting worried as this sales event is the second largest revenue generating event of the fiscal year. Therefore, it is critical to the business that the Emerald product team resolves the issue and gets the change into production as quickly as possible. And they need to do it following the approved process to avoid the risk of an audit, an audit which could delay production delivery. But before we get into solving the problem, let's first take a look at the product team and the technologies they will use. Throughout this demo, I will be wearing multiple hats representing the different team personas, and I will explicitly call out the transitions from one role to another. The technologies used in this demo include HCL Compass, used for enterprise planning, HCL Accelerate, used to manage the value stream, HCL Launch, used for deployment automation, and HCL One Test Server, used for test execution orchestration and test data fabrication. Lastly, it is important to highlight that all of these solutions are being deployed on HCL SOFI, HCL Software's cloud-native solution, which makes Kubernetes easy. I simply selected the products I wanted to deploy from the catalog and click the Deploy button. Within minutes, I have the solutions I need to do the job. And now we are ready to begin our day in the life demo journey. We begin the story as Paula, the project manager. Working in HCL Compass, Paula notices that a new high priority defect has been submitted and completes the planning fields to kick off the defect remediation. Paula identifies the team, an owner, and the number of story points she believes are appropriate based on history. She also sets the class of service to expedite due to the importance for the business. And just before modifying the work item status and moving it into the backlog state, she selects the release and sprint the fix should be included in. Next up is Al the Analyst. It is Al's job to review the work item and provide additional information for the developers to execute against. Working in HCL Compass, Al executes a query looking for all the work items currently in the backlog state. Opening the defect and expanding the planning section, he sees that Paula has flagged this as expedite and scheduled for delivery as part of the active sprint. But to fully understand the problem, Al first takes a look at the Emerald application in production and can quickly see why website visitors are confused. He updates the defect description and moves the work item into the analyzed state. Next up is Diane the developer. Now Diane already has some work assigned to her for this sprint, but she is currently waiting for some dependent tasks to be completed. Having available bandwidth, she logs into HCL Compass and checks for any new high priority work items she can pull into the work state. And she finds the defect which has been marked as expedite. To move things along, she accepts ownership of the work item and pulls it into the work stage to begin working on the fix. Continuing on in the journey, let's transition from Diane to Linda, our team lead. Linda's day begins with a flurry of emails and messages informing her of this new defect and stressing how important it is to get the fix into production. Adding to this stress, Linda already had concerns that the team was close to capacity and she doesn't have an answer for the root cause or how to address the team's perceived capacity problem. Working in HCL Accelerate and reviewing the value stream dashboard, Linda can see a summary of production incidents and Accelerate has identified a bottleneck in the work stage of the Emerald Commerce storefront value stream. Drilling into the value stream, Linda hovers over the bottleneck to learn that this is a result of flow imbalance, meaning more work has entered the work stage than is exited. Now HCL Accelerate is able to identify bottlenecks using AI capabilities and applying algorithms against data stored in Accelerate's repository, aiding teams in identifying slow spots and providing detail on root cause to accelerate remediation. And Linda knows that the pushing of work into a stage before the team is ready potentially exceeds the cognitive capacity of the team, resulting in a man-made yet avoidable value stream bottleneck. 
Linda also sees that Accelerate is highlighting that the work in progress limit for the work stage has been exceeded. She reviews the list of work items and sees that there are two additions in the last 24 hours. With a quick query on the work item ID, Linda can easily review the two work items. Clicking the square dot, Linda sees that she is being asked to review Diane's code changes which contains the fix. Clicking the circle dot, she reviews details of the work item and specifically the audit trail or digital chain of custody to confirm that the approved process is being followed. After clearing the query, Linda filters the display of value stream dots by sprint to learn if only work associated to the active sprint is actually in the work stage. Now armed with the data she needs, Linda decides to discuss how pushing work instead of pulling work into a pipeline stage can disrupt flow during the next stand-up meeting. Moving to the meeting where team members have dialed in from remote locations, Linda shares her screen displaying HCL Accelerate swim lane view filtered by owner. After each team member shares updates on the work assigned to them, Linda raises her concern and asks for the team's thoughts on pushing the story assigned to Sprint 1012 back to the Analyze stage. This will address the bottleneck and work in progress limit issues identified by HCL Accelerate and allow the team to focus on the immediate tasks at hand. The team agrees and Linda makes the change. Now let's transition from Linda the team lead to Peter the product owner. Peter is getting concerned as he has picked up bits of information through the grapevine regarding a customer issue in production and the potential delays in releasing new versions. If rumors are true, his concern could become very real as he has marketing campaigns and press releases scheduled to announce new capabilities in the Emerald app. However, Peter also knows the best way to understand the realities of the situation is to look at data. Working in HCL Accelerate, Peter opens the Emerald Commerce storefront value stream and selects the swim lane view. Filtering by epics, Peter is quickly able to see the two epics he is most concerned in, the work which must be completed in order to release, and the status of that work. The two epics are critical to the business as the Google product recommendations feature should help the business increase revenue through suggestive selling based on clients' previous buying habits and browsing history. The REST API enhancements include features allowing the supply chain partners to update inventory counts as well as introduce new products to the catalog. Peter is also aware of Linda's suggestion to push a work item back to an earlier stage as a means in resolving a bottleneck. Peter is able to quickly see that the work item in question is not part of the priority epics. The work shows as being on track and he can continue coordinating with other areas of the business for a successful release. Returning to the Linda persona, Linda has reviewed the software fix and closed the pull request from Diane accepting the changes. Closing the pull request has triggered the merge and build of a new version ready for deployment. To quickly move things along, Linda navigates to the pipeline view and sees that the new version 916 is listed as a deployable artifact having passed unit test and static scans. She also sees that version 915 currently deployed in the dev environment is presenting an unacceptable level of quality as indicated by the red bar. Now at this time it is important to note that HCL Accelerate provides integrations to several market leading deployment automation solutions including HCL Launch. But for this demo, we are using the power of the API to update the pipeline inventory, meaning that whatever CI CD solution an organization is using, an API step can be added to the build or deployment job. And when executed, HCL Accelerate's pipeline view is updated to show the latest application version available for deployment or deployed to an environment in the delivery pipeline. Returning to our story, Linda is ready to deploy the latest version to the dev environment where it will be subjected to a level of testing. Working in HCL Launch, Linda starts off by confirming that the application version 916 has not been deployed to any of the environments. Switching to the snapshot view, she validates that 916 is available for deployment and requests the deployment to the dev environment, replacing 915 with the latest version. She picks the deployment process to be followed, confirms that version 916 will be deployed by that process, 
sees that the necessary deployment properties have been satisfied, and while the deployment could be scheduled, Linda decides to deploy immediately, clicking Submit Deployment. Automatically transferred to the execution log, Linda sees that the deployment process is underway. In the first process step, changes to the Emerald application container are deployed and a check of the output log presents details on what occurred as part of that step execution. Next, Launch uses the power of the API, updating the pipeline view in Accelerate, which is confirmed again by viewing the log output. Returning to HCL Accelerate, Linda sees that version 9.16 was successfully deployed to the dev environment, and a quick check of the Emerald application running in dev confirms the changes available for testing. Now it is time to transition to Tim and demonstrate HCL One Test Server. Now Tim has already learned that a change is being deployed to dev, and he is anxious to verify the new functionality. So he launches the necessary tests from one test server. However, after reviewing the Emerald project dashboard, he can see that while seven test suites of varying test types were executed, tests which performed API checks, performance checks, and functional checks, with a breakdown of 44% API tests, 44% performance tests, and 12% functional tests, one of those test suites has failed. But before sounding any alarms, Tim checks out the test execution results of the failed test suite. Scrolling through the test steps executed and seeing images of the application screens exercised during the test, Tim comes to the conclusion that the application is working properly and the test is executing correctly. The issue is with the test data. And Tim is getting a little frustrated with tests failing due to bad test data and even more frustrated with the amount of time wasted maintaining these test data files. He decides to perform an experiment and execute the test using synthetic test data generated by HCL One Test Server test data fabrication capability. And if this experiment is successful, Tim believes it will result in time savings for the long term and optimize the test effort to a new level. Working in the authoring pane of One Test Server, Tim first reviews the test data files available. Reviewing the users.csv file, he considers abandoning the experiment as the file is small. Then he notices the test file above containing 20,000 rows. He decides that the time and energy in having to maintain test data of any size is a waste of time. Moving to the data fabrication pane, Tim locates a test data file schema called user. Further investigation shows that this schema will generate a test data file which contains exactly the data fields he needs. And drilling into the schema, Tim sees the first names will be randomly selected from column one of the usnames.csv file, a file containing thousands upon thousands of names. Continuing on, Tim observes that the last name field is populated by randomly selecting values from column three of the same file. The phone number is dynamically generated using a regular expression, and the email field is populated by concatenating the first and last name appended with a domain, creating a unique email address for each individual. Satisfied that this schema will work in generating the test data he needs, Tim decides to rerun the test, overriding the test data source and subbing in the test data fabrication schema. He specifies the number of rows required and kicks off the test. With the test execution complete and showing is passed, Tim reviews the execution log, confirms that a different set of test data was used during test execution, and that the application is working as expected. Now, as all of this is happening and tests are being ran, test execution results are being summarized and posted in HCL Accelerate, making them available to all with access. So let's return to our Linda persona. Linda, as the team lead, has been instructed to share updates on the defect fix as soon as something is available due to its high visibility within the organization. Navigating to the Insights view and opening the Quality Reports dashboard, Linda is presented with historical data and trends over time 
for all value streams being managed by HCL Accelerate. As she is most interested in seeing Tim's test results, she moves to the functional test chart and drills in to see details of specific test runs. Clicking the link associated to a report entry transports her to the actual test execution log where she too can see details of the test steps performed as well as the verdicts. But she has been asked to share proof that the issue has been resolved. She quickly checks the latest test execution entry linking to the test execution log and confirms the application fix is complete, sharing the link with the stakeholders as proof. Next step in the journey would be to navigate to the pipeline view and continue to move version 916 through the delivery pipeline environments where the latest build will be subjected to different levels of testing and user acceptance on route to production. So how did the HCL software DevOps solution help the Emerald team? The team was able to quickly introduce new work into the delivery pipeline while preserving flow, use an integrated automated solution expediting the movement of work across the delivery pipeline, effectively collaborate even though the team was remote, efficiently and accurately deploy and test the software change, and they were able to further optimize the pipeline taking advantage of test data fabrication, but most importantly, the team was able to quickly resolve the issue, eliminate risk to the business, and delight its customers offering a better user experience.